It's Miss Watling. Oh, Miss Watling. Won't you come in the house? Oh, no. I couldn't do that, Miss Wilkes. You come in and sit a minute with me. How can I thank you enough for what you did for us? How can any of us thank you enough? I got your note saying you was going to call on me and thank me. What, oh, Miss Wilkes, you must have lost your mind. I come up here as soon as it was dark to tell you you mustn't even think of any such thing. Why, I'm... Well, you're... Well, it wouldn't be fitting at all. It wouldn't be fitting for me to call and thank a kind woman who saved my husband's life? Miss Wilkes, there ain't never been a lady in this town nice to me like you was. I mean about the money for the hospital, you know. And I don't forget a kindness. And I got to thinking about you being left a widow with a little boy. Mr. Wilkes got hung. And he's a nice little boy. Your boy's Miss Wilkes. I got a boy myself. And so I... Oh, you have? Does he live... Oh, no. He ain't here in Atlanta. He ain't never been here. He's off at school. I ain't seen him since he was little. I... Well, anyways, if it had been that Miss Kennedy's husband by himself, I wouldn't have lifted a finger, no matter what Captain Butler said. She's a mighty cold woman, prancing about Atlanta by herself. She killed her husband, same as if she shot him. You mustn't say unkind things about my sister-in-law. Oh. Please don't freeze me, Miss Wilkes. I forgot how you liked her. But she just ain't in the same class with you, and I can't help it if I think so. Well, anyways, I gotta be going. I'm scared somebody will recognize this carriage if I stayed here any longer. That wouldn't do you no good. And Ms. Wilkes, if you ever see me on the street, you don't have to speak to me. I'll understand. I should be proud to speak to you. Proud to be under obligation to you. I hope we meet again. Oh, no. That wouldn't be fitting. Good night, Miss Wilkes. Good night, Miss Wadley. 